and the way, well, maybe not in this video, hopefully in this video, um, I might cut through a few things because if it's the same thing over and over, uh, there's really no need that it's basically you watching me how to model instead of me telling you what to do um, and the way that I do it. So, um, alright, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start right away here. I think I need to move this really quickly though. Uh, so I'm going to click F4, click on yeah, all of them. I think I need to move it a little bit. So, we grab all of these. Tiny bit, tiny bit. That might be a little too much. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. Because you don't want a whole bunch of it moved in, just a little bit. Okay. So really quick, I'm just gonna fix up some of this stuff because as you can see it's a little bit yeah. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these and we're gonna pull these up. Pull them up because you want it to be in a slant, so pull these up. Yeah, it's not gonna ruin your foot. As long as it looks pretty curved, you'll be fine. Um, so there we go, we got that moved up. Next thing we wanna do, wanna make sure that because this is gonna be my big toe. So we're going to put this big toe right here. Then, okay, all that selected. Move this out, move it forward. Okay, right here. Um, I think we're going to. Uh, so do this. Straighten this out. Okay. Uh, it should make it my life a lot easier if I have that straight in. Okay, move this over. That. Right, and let's see. Still missing a few. We can move these over towards this way. A whole lot, just a little bit. And we want to have a curve. That's okay. Now what we need to do is we need to do uh, so two connects here, so ring that and ring that. Connect. Right, so now we have we should have five toes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and for now we're just going to make sure we have them where we want them. So, all right. Alt X. Pull Pull Press down. So there we go. It's exactly where we want everything. Okay. Now we grab this, pull this back. Grab those, pull it back a little bit. Grab these, pull these back. Pull this down. This down. We can turn that to pull these down. So. Slightly pull that one down. It's all very slight. You're going to need a whole bunch of it. You don't want to mess anything up. Alright, uh, let's see. Let me get rid of these. So I'll, uh, I'll check that out. Okay, uh, let's go ahead scale this. Now I'll take off my four. I'll make sure that I did give it a weird looking stuff. A little bit right there, so it's just a quick easy fix. Um, just because those are two pros. So click two, grab, move this over, grab, move that over. That should be too close. Yeah, grab, that's fine. Uh, Good. 
Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start to get the toes shaped in here. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to leave this as a foot, right? So that'll be on my foot. It's ready, basically ready to go. Could just extrude off, but it don't want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to model all the toes. I'm going to model one toe, the big toe by itself, and now I'm going to model this toe. And then all the other toes are basically the same thing as that. Uh, obviously, Pinky's a little different, so we'll model that one differently too. Right. So again, we're going to do the same thing here as far as uh, uh, the small poly count is concerned. So we're going to move that out, convert it to editable poly, and we're going to go ahead and start. Alright, so now I don't really have anything to give me where the knuckles are inside this view, so I'm going to be popping back and forth between views. So connect that. And we're going to move this back here. Okay, pull this. That's fine. This. Okay, pull it down. There we go. Okay. Now, go ahead and click 4. And we'll extrude. Click OK. And we'll move it over. So that's your basic big toe. Now, keep in mind that you will have to mirror all these toes. Because if you don't, um, well, actually, no, you don't have to mirror the toe that line. Yeah, hey, why I do that? Uh, I was thinking that you had to, but you don't because uh, it is the right way. So it's facing inward, it should be facing inward. All right. Now we get all text, and now we can start doing the rest of the tarot out on uh, this view over here. So let's check it out. So it kind of goes up. We go and kind of grab vertices, vertexes, and we'll pull this up. Uh, it looks like all the touches are up there. No, that's not right. I don't know if see a toad that looks like that. But it does look like, I think toads do have an arch uh, towards the middle of them. Yeah, I'm looking at my feet right now, so, alright. just want this to touch, just to touch, pull the foot down some, it touches, alright. Vertex. Group two, connect right there. Right. This comes up. Right, and bring that, connect it once. And instead of making that any different, we're just going to select those and select those. Like that. All right, so there should be the basic big toe. And well, I guess we can do that. Um, don't really want to make triangles out of you guys. Um, all right, so we'll keep it like that. That'll be fine for now. Alright, so that's toe number one, big toe. Alright, now, alright, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here, select, come down, and we're gonna use attach. So we'll attach this. Alright, and now what we're going to do is make sure that we have uh, 
I'll get selected and move it out a little bit. Select that and that. Now what we're gonna do is where our big toe is, right there. There we go. So now we have a big toe. You can see, big toe. Voila. Then we can edit all this later.